Hello everyone and welcome back to What Not To Render, the show where you see your mistakes before you make them. My name is James Coleman, I'm a Maxwell Render Mentor at the University of Brighton Centre for Design Technology. In this week's What Not To Render, I'll be talking about CPU threads, what it's for, what it does, how not to use it. Here I am in Maxwell Studio and CPU threads is a little setting over here under Render Options and the Scene tab. By default, it's set to automatic, but by using the arrows at the side, I can turn it up or I can turn it down. And this setting, CPU threads, is actually related to how many CPU threads Maxwell Render is allowed to use when rendering an image. Unfortunately, a lot of students that I get don't know what a CPU thread is in the first place, and so they don't know how to use this properly. A CPU thread is a core inside your CPU itself. Nowadays, virtually all CPUs come with two or more. So for example, if I had a computer with two CPU threads, but I set the Maxwell Studio CPU threads to one and clicked render, Maxwell Render would only use one of the two CPU threads. What's the result of this? Well, the result is that it will take twice as long, but it will leave one CPU thread unused so that I can continue to use my computer for other things and not feel any slowdown. That's what it actually does and that's what it's actually for. However, a lot of students that I've taught in the past think that they can just turn up the CPU threads as high as it will go and that this will make Maxwell render faster. I'm sorry, but that's not the case. That's not how it works. The vast majority of the time, in fact, probably all the time, I leave CPU threads at zero, otherwise known as automatic. With the automatic setting, Maxwell Render will automatically use as many threads as it can, and this guarantees that it will render as fast as it can. So remember, keep CPU threads at automatic, it will make it as fast as possible. Don't turn CPU threads up. That is what not to render. Thank you very much for watching, see you again soon.